guys. Are you good? Are you excited to be here? Oh my gosh, you know, dreams really do come true. And um, I just wanna, and I'm gonna try not to cry because the people, some of you know that I sometimes cry on stage. I'm gonna do my best not to. Um, it's a labor of love that I have. And I just, I wanna share a story with you because I think so many people, you know, you guys see us on Facebook and, and 12 years ago I had this dream to bring hairdressers together in one place. Um, but I want you to know where I came from because um, there are so many people, as I said last night, there's so many people that, you know, told me I've been crazy for the ideas that I've had over my lifetime. And uh, those that are crazy enough to think they can change the world really are the only ones that ever do. And I have to believe that when you went home and you told your parents that you wanted to be a hairdresser, maybe they thought you were crazy too. You touch people every single day in the most incredible ways. You make them look good and feel good. And I have to tell you that I'm going to show you a little story about where I came from. And I have to tell you that it's because of all of you that you've given me so much purpose in my life. Um, and I just want to show you actually where I came from. I'm a small town girl. I grew up on a farm. Um, and uh, we were quite poor, very poor when I was little. And um, um, I had this dream that uh, we lived in the middle of nowhere, like literally in the cornfields. In fact, the funny thing, anybody live in small towns? So here was a funny thing is when I moved to the big city, I, I was really, really, I didn't know what town I was going to from one to the next because I thought every town was surrounded by cornfields. So when you went past the town, then you go to a cornfield and you go on to another town. I got to the big city and realized that, that cornfields aren't in these different locations. Well, I wanted to um, have a lemonade stand because I wanted a 10-speed bike, everybody. Um, had a 10-speed bike and my parents just were too poor to afford one and so in the middle of nowhere There were no other houses within a mile of our house and about six cars drove by every day And uh, I told my parents I was gonna get a 10-speed bike and I said um, They said that's never gonna happen. You know, we have six cars that go by every single day And how are you gonna make enough money? Well without telling you the entire story we lived in the, in the middle of nowhere. I had this long driveway and uh, sometimes we had lemonade, sometimes um, we had just, you know, tea. And the cars would stop, which was cool, because they're like, there's a lemonade stand in the middle of nowhere. They would stop. And, um, and they learned my journey, because the funny thing is we were too poor to have plastic cups. So I would take my glass cups down, and I have this little wash bin. And they actually had to stay and drink the lemonade there, because I needed my glass back. Um, well. Everybody told me I, I could not do it, that I'd never make enough money to get that 10-speed bike at the end of the summer. But I dedicated my entire summer. I sacrificed my summer of my ninth year. The whole summer, every single day, 6 o'clock in the morning I was out there, and at the end of the day, to get the, the people that were coming from work. And at the end of the summer, I got my 10-speed bike. When... Could somebody actually bring me some water? I'm like so parched. If somebody backstage could, I'd appreciate it. Um, when I thought of behind the chair 12 years ago, everybody told me I was crazy. 10% of hairdressers had email addresses at the time, and, and the good old boys network said, hairdressers are not smart enough to turn on a computer. They will never, ever have an email address, and they'll never be educated online. You are crazy to do what you're doing. And maybe I was crazy at the time, because what happened is, is I was a recruiter, a headhunter for 12 years of my life as an adult. Anyway, I started behind the chair 12 years ago, and um, nobody believed. Um, I had an investor who gave me $2 million to help start it, and I had done fairly well as a recruiter, but I hated what I did. As a recruiter, I hated it. I made a lot of money, but I felt no purpose, and I changed everything about my life. You know that saying that that um, when the pain not to change becomes greater than the pain to change, you change. And I was so miserable, but I was making a lot of money. So I decided that if we could bring hairdressers together in one place, how powerful that would be as a community. We could learn together, laugh together, motivate together, um, be one in, in many, because so many times you feel alone in the salon. Well, um, my bright idea, <laughs> after five years I lost all of my money, Actually, in the first two years, I lost all of my money, and I lost all of my investors' money. Almost went out of business several times, and I kept lying to my husband, telling my husband I wasn't taking more money out of the bank. I had almost bankrupted my family, and I never had to work again a day in my life 
I had enough money to survive the rest of my life, and I put every nickel I had into this company. It took me five years to turn a profit behind the chair. Five years. So not only did I lose all that money, I wasn't making any money. So here's what my, le my lesson is in that, is you have to do what you love. Passion is everything. When you find passion in your life, I swear to you that when you're on the wrong path, all the doors close in your face. Because they're supposed to, there's a message of that. But when you're on the right path in life, all the right doors open, the stars and the moon align for you, and the world really does conspire to help you. I know that sounds crazy that I spent that much time working on a dream that nobody else believed in, but you have to believe in yourself. Your dream has to be so strong that everybody else in the world doesn't have to believe it, but you do. Don't let the naysayers out there tell you that what your dream is is wrong because it's yours. It belongs only to you. So my dream at Behind the Chair was to build something, to build something powerful and wonderful that would hopefully inspire you and, and would take the same knowledge that I would had over the years about building a dream and fulfilling a dream and actually make it become a reality. All of you, and I, I felt so much pressure because I want to give you a weekend that's so incredible here because you've given me so much purpose in my life. Every day, I love to go to work. I love what I do. I love my team. I have the most incredible team. And I want you to know that everything that you're going to see this weekend was created by that incredible team. And we all have to, I'm going to do it. We all have amazing people that surround us. And my team has been incredible. Everybody has been incredible. And I hope that you guys love your teams the way that I love mine. So when you see one of our members at Behind the Chair or one of our team members, I get all the accolades for what we do, and I want you to know that they do 90% of the work. Please thank them. When you see them with a behind the chair, please thank them, because they're the ones that are inspiring you every single day. It's not just what I do. It takes a team. So my weekend for you, and I'm just, I, I, we sold this show out six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. You are coming from 43 states, eight countries, and four continents all from BehindTheChair.com members. There are 600,000 BTC members around the world. 600,000. So you know what I say to those guys 12 years ago that said it never happened? Well, I can't say it'd be a four-letter word. <laughs> Once we get to know each other a little bit better, you might be hearing some off the stage. But you know what? You are an artist, and hair is your canvas. And what color do you see? Because what you're going to see here this weekend is I don't want you just to learn great new color techniques. I want you to meet each other. I want you to be inspired. Because when you're inspired, you can pull the greatest stuff back out of you. You know? Um, I want you to think about life differently. I want you to think about color differently. I want you to be a sponge. I want you to be courageous when you go back to the salon. I want you to practice and practice and practice. Vidal Sassoon, as you, many of you know, was a great friend of mine, and we started a charity together, and we raised $2.5 million for Katrina victims, and we built 26 houses all in the hands of hairdressers and the money of hairdressers. And Vidal always said that it was never a job. It was never a job. They'd work all day, and he called it they'd play all night, and they would work and practice and practice and practice and practice. And they loved it. All night long they did it. It was a passion. Because when you love what you do, you don't know when work ends and play begins, and play begins and work ends. And that's what passion is really about. And when you find it, it just, it just moves you in amazing ways. So I really, really hope that you enjoy this weekend. I think we've put together an incredible group of colorists for you. And I hope that you're inspired. Um, and I'll leave you with this last slide. I stopped in Wisconsin on the side of a road and I took a picture. Take those moments in your life, you know? Take moments in your life when something moves you and take a picture of it. It's a picture of a flower and a rainbow. And I stopped on an old country road in the middle of Wisconsin and I shot this picture. This picture has been the inspiration for this entire show. Do you, see the, do you see the flower in the foreground? That flower represents to me that if we focus, because it's in focus, if we focus on the things that we need to do today, every day we have a focus, it will help us bring the rainbow and our pot of gold for the future. Because your dreams are there. Life goes on, life happens, we have kids, we have problems, we have routines, 
Don't forget your dreams. Your dream will always be there waiting for you. It will be there waiting for you. It's never going to go away. And as long as you keep focusing every day on the things that you need to do to find your dream, your pot of gold will be waiting for you at the very end. And what you'll find this entire weekend is that that rainbow, I can't, I can't talk again, that rainbow will guide you through the entire weekend with all the colors of the rainbow. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.